welcome to inspire for travel my name is Wimba Imani and today I'm currently heading towards Milimani and Milimani in Kiswahili means mountains and I'm just checking out the affluent areas or what some people call the rich areas here in the city of Nakuru now Nakuru is a city in the Republic of Kenya in East Africa and it's the fourth largest city here in Kenya and I'll be checking out the area of Milimani to see what the vibe is like and giving you a real feel of the place so to my returning subscribers firstly i want to thank you for your custom and if you're new around here i do appreciate your time for watching my videos and do consider liking sharing and subscribing to the channel by clicking on the red box below this video that says subscribe karibu nisana kenya so you can see today is a really lovely and sunny day it's around 28 degrees celsius very hot the sun is out in its glory and we're on a walk together the time now it's around 3 p.m in the afternoon really nice time so yeah we're just exploring together now a very interesting feature about this road that we're walking on here right now a few months ago or even last year or two years ago i should say not even months two years ago this whole road here will have been a dirt road but now it's been completely paved okay it's been a paved road now tarmac road which is great and i'm seeing the development that's why one of the things i like about nakuru you can leave a certain time and then come back again and then you will notice the developments that's been happening so this is really great guys and as we're walking you're going to even be seeing more real estate construction that's been happening here and i really like it now milimani of course is one of the affluent areas here in nakuru and you'll also find private schools here guys okay one of the schools that comes to mind is kipapeo which is a private school starting from pre-primary right up to the end of primary school here so definitely one of those areas here in nakuru kenya which attracts the people that has big money definitely so yeah guys let's explore together hope you're enjoying the view so far now we're coming up to a spot where you get to see a good portion of nakuru guys and you can see a good the distance of the the city in general and i like it when you come to be money because you're overlooking the entire city which is great so yeah I'm going to show you that right now. Stay tuned to this space. So if you look to your left, guys, this is overlooking the city and in the distance, what you're seeing there there's a bit of fog showing right now but that is actually lake nakuru a very popular tourist attraction here in nakuru when people come to nakuru most of the time they're coming to see lake nakuru and there you'll also find the national park and you'll see the flamingos rhinos elephants and different things like that so from milimani here we can see glimpses of that in the distance here Now so far Kenya's been great guys. I've took a little travel from my hometown in Tanzania in Tanga and um traveling throughout Kenya now. Maybe we might even touch another country in East Africa, who knows? We'll see how it goes. But Kenya's been beautiful. Some of the differences I've noticed so far, well, I would say yeah, definitely the Kiswahili spoken in Kenya is different to a certain degree from what is spoken in Tanzania. I think in Kenya you have to be a bit more cautious in comparison in Tanzania it's a bit more 
have a relaxed vibe there in comparison to Kenya. In terms of infrastructural development, I'll say mm, it depends. It's, it's, hard. it's hard, hard to really say because Tanzania is really developing rapidly these days. And so far from where I've been, to me, they, they, they're about the same. And that's just from where I've been. I haven't really checked out N Nairobi and these places in detail. So I can't really give you a full synopsis of what I really think about the two countries. But I'm seeing developments in both countries and they're coming, they're coming along quite well. I would say the style in Kenya is different from Tanzania. And, and, and it, understandably so because I guess Tanzania really had that influence from different cultures across the world. You had Indian, Arab, so even seeing it in their buildings um, in Tanzania is different somewhat from what we see here in Kenya. Kenya, they have a lot of apartment blocks, which is built in a certain way, which is not really seen much in Tanzania. Tanzania do have apartment blocks, but I think it's built differently. But yeah, this is Milimani, guys. So these are all new builds that's happening right now. These are all recent the, the, um, apartments that's being built. And how they do it here in Kenya, they'll build these ones and they'll rent them out apartment by apartment. So that will be a very good business model for whoever is designing these because there's a demand for apartments in the crew these days. A lot of people are moving to the city. And it's a city that is considered to be one of the affordable places to live in Kenya in comparison to other cities in Kenya. So yeah, this is what we're seeing right now. Quiet day today, not much people. You won't see much people walking around here. After all, this is more of a kind of an affluent area. So what you'll expect here is basically people that just come home after work and different things like that you won't see a large crowd of people like in the market areas or anything like that that we see in downtown nakuru in the city in the market areas but this is really good guys like honestly like about a year or two ago this whole street here would have been dirt, dirt road so a lot of work has really been put into developing the place and making sure that the roads are tarmac which is sidewalk on each side of the road pavements on each side of the road very great convenient as well so i'm loving it seen in the distance here these are some of the houses the mansions in the area here in Milimani So like I'm saying, this what you're seeing here, all the different houses, some have already been built, some have, are being built right now, some are even apartment blocks that, have been, that are being built for business purposes. But this is the area where you will find the affluent, the creme de la creme, some of the rich people here in the Kuru city in Kenya. This is where they live. So this is the vibe of the place, guys. And you can see the roads are well paved. There's a lot of amazing trees forest trees it's a real nice vibe here guys really peaceful i must say in comparison to other areas in nakuru so if you're looking for a place like wow where where some of the affluent places i could live 
in Nakuru, definitely Milimani is a place you should consider. What I have to tell you though, that in the evening times it do get quite cold here. What you'll notice, the mountainous parts in Nakuru will be some of the coldest parts in the area, especially during the evening time, night time. So that's something you got to bear in mind. But today it's a really nice day. It's a hot day. Like I said, it's around 28 degrees. So this is the vibe, guys. So some of the times when I'm walking in some of the areas guys, I don't have a drone or anything like that so you won't really see the full view of the homes but like we're walking right now, it's a beautiful home behind here but you can see the fence is built really high okay so you can't see the full spectrum of the house and I don't blame them for doing so, it's a deterrence mechanism, you don't want any and anyone seeing what you really have so yeah, this is what you'll notice when you come to Kenya. I find like perhaps in other East African countries you may find that you can see more of the home more and the fence is not that high so that's one of the things I've noticed so far walking this road is certainly an exercise definitely this is merely money guys I'm going up a mountain here For example here this is a bus that's going into one of the homes but you can see the gate is very high i can't even really see the house properly so very clever how they do things here most definitely Wow, this is really lovely. Really love how they did their garden here. They trimmed the plants really lovely. The fencing really lovely. This is really nice, guys. This is an unfinished home. I guess they're still in a process before they finish building. And you do see that sometimes. Some people will build to a certain extent and then they'll stop until I guess they get more funds and carry on building again. So that's something you'll see a lot throughout when you travel throughout Africa and other parts of the world, in the Caribbeans and different places. You know, people take things pole pole. So this is one of the homes here. I guess the fencing was not too high. So we can see glimpses of the home. And this area as well, you will find certain hotels. So for example, the Saar Rover Woodlands Hotel is a very, what's well, a five-star hotel in Nakuru. And you will find it in this area. And also Capitol Hill Lodge can be found here. So there are quite a few upscale hotels you'll find in this area. And what's great is, the roads are very well paved as well, so you don't have to worry about dust or anything like that, so that some people are concerned about. So we're going to take a left this way, and we're going to head towards um, the San Rova Hotel. But Milliman is, is big, it literally goes further on. If we, if we had carry on walking straight, you'll have seen more. So yeah, this is the vibe, guys.
So peaceful here. Wow. And I could hear some birds chirping. Really peaceful. This is one of the signs when you know you're in an affluent area. It's definitely much quiet. It hasn't got much of the various fast food shops or anything like that. Everything's spread out in a nice way, you know. You got a lot of plants, um, flowers in some parts. And I'm seeing that right now. You can tell, you know. We're in an affluent part here in Nakuru. Now look at that place there in the distance, guys. Look at that view. Absolutely stunning. If that yellow fencing was in there, you'd have seen more. But you can see the mini mountains down there. It's definitely beautiful. I'm liking it. Nanakuru is the fourth largest city in Kenya and like I've said in a previous vlog, agriculture is a very important sector and one of the backbones of this city and you also have manufacturing and different things like that. And another thing which is interesting about a city, it has a lot of private uh, learning institutions and some of them follow the British curriculum system. So some parents will send their children to some of these schools here in Nakuru. Some of them are boarding schools as well. And what you'll find is after they graduate, graduated, they can of course move on and go to England and even some other parts of Europe and even America. And their qualification that they've received here in Kenya will be recognized because their school are following either the American or British um, curriculum so very interesting you get a lot of those schools here some that comes to mind is like Shai Large for example Shai Large another very popular school here so that's another reason why you'll see even a lot of people wanting to move here um, to give their children a better start or a head start in the realm of academia here in Nakuru Kenya Now this really feels interesting because literally it's only me. You get a few border border guys passing, a few buses passing by, but literally I've got a whole place to myself now, guys. So it's you and me. You're getting an extra view of what the Milimani area is like if you were to choose to live here. Definitely quiet. Very quiet, especially during the day. And for some people, they value having that peace and quietness and then when they want to travel to other places they do so so this is what it's really like guys i really try to show you different aspects of different places where i travel okay i'm trying to show you not only you know markets or popular places but even local places where people live and stuff like that i try to show you that here guys so yeah this is it This is a school right here, it's the International Institute of Business, okay? And a um, bit quiet right now, but this is what it looks like from the outside.
in Kenya, you still have to wear your mask. Some of you may be wondering, why you got that mask attached to your face? Yeah, well, so far in Kenya, in comparison to Tanzania, you have to wear your mask. And if the police stop you and you haven't got your mask, you could either be arrested or they may ask you to pay a fine on the spot. So until that changes, this is how many people have to roll here in Kenya wearing a mask. Wow, this guy literally have a has a mattress on this border border bike. A single mattress that is. See here, sometimes it's amazing what you'll find some people carrying on these motor bike taxis. I mean literally I've seen people carrying various buckets, beds sacks of rice and of course sometimes it's, it's it's more affordable to do so instead of hiring maybe a taxi or anything like that so one of the strategies people use to save money and when you travel throughout the continent of africa you will notice these things really nice jakarta Jakarta trees here guys literally right in front of me right now where you can see the vehicles coming they've built a, they, they, there's just a, they've planted a lot of these trees and I notice you'll see a lot of them throughout Nakuru So this is an academy in the distance here. It's the Victor Well Academy. Again, you'll find a few academies here in Milimani and of course there will be considered the elites academies here, some of the places where people with financial means will send their children to to study. Nakuru is definitely beautiful, man. It's the Rift Valley, and you do see these lovely plains and mini mountains. I love it. And the fact that you could find an abundance of different fruits and vegetable, fresh food, makes the experience more memorable, definitely. That's late Nakuru in the distance, guys. So right now we're walking up to a place called the lawns and you can see the type of the apartments they have here and um, they have a restaurant here accommodation and a conference center for people who want to hold meetings so this is literally the entrance here they try to give you that real you know lovely 
African style, you know, living here. So it's very beautiful, like in it. So this is the lawn. So this is one of the hotels that you will find in the area. And um, we're going to come up to an, another one in a minute. And you will get a glimpse of that. Now, these are the more upscale um, accommodations in the Kuru. Like you will find some of them have very great Wi-Fi. They have internet. They have bars in the hotels. Obviously, everything that you possibly need, you know, all-inclusive can be found in some of these hotels here in the Kuru. So, it does offer a good balance, which is great for a city. So, for those who are budget travelers, you have the option of getting a hotel for as low as a thousand two hundred um, Kenyan shillings, and then these ones could go really right up for over twenty thousand um, Kenyan shillings. So, this is the Sarova Woodlands Hotel, very popular. You can find them on various websites that advertises different hotels but this is one of the I'll say yeah definitely one of the upscale hotels here and they also have a pool here they have a spa treatment they have restaurant they have bars so this is it guys the Sarova Woodlands Hotel and Spa so you can also get your spa treatment here you can see security is at its highest they got close circuit TV CCTV so very very popular here for people who have certain financial means will stay here and right next to it you will find the Naivas supermarket right next to your hotel how lovely is that so if you need to get something um, you can quickly just walk across the road. It's your neighbor. So yeah, the Sa Sarova Woodlands Hotel Nakuru. One of the five-star hotels in the area. All right, guys. We've literally walked a bit here in Milimani. I didn't do the full tour of the entire neighborhood, but I've gave you a very great insight into how it looks what you expect to see we've seen the peace and tranquility in the neighborhood so if you have enjoyed today's show please remember to give the video a thumbs up a like and i do appreciate your time for always coming back and watching my videos my name is wimba imani and thank you for watching inspire for travel